today we are going to be ranking the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books 1 through 13. Because we are getting ready for number 14, The Meltdown. We're getting ready for that. So yeah, I got 1 through 14. I just wanted to show you this book real quick, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, cheesiest edition. I got it not too long ago. Yeah, it's basically the first original idea story. It's just that right here as the cheese. It has a signature at the beginning. Instead of having the cheese at the beginning, it has a sign with the cheese. And then, yeah, it's basically the same story as the first one printed on special paper. And every time the cheese part comes up, the cheese is always yellow in this book. I didn't color it. No, it's always yellow in this book. Because it's the cheesiest edition. Anyway, well, let's start getting... are going with the rankings from in my opinion from least to best from the worst book to the best book yeah I have a pretty negative opinions first uh the worst I mean the movie wasn't as bad as people put it out to me be I feel like critics really just over exaggerate but yeah the movie was pretty good not the best compared to the first three but I mean I didn't like the book at all I didn't really, it didn't really stand out to me. Uh uh, I don't like it. Next up, we have Hard Luck. A lot of people, in fact, don't like this one. And I just don't like it. You know? I don't like the basic idea of Rowley getting a girlfriend. Because Rowley is so naive, so nice, just a good kid. Why would a kid like him want or need a girlfriend? I don't really like this idea. Good book, but not good idea. Next up we have Cabin Fever. This one's pretty forgettable. It doesn't really have a main plot other than him being stuck during the winter and just a bunch of random adventures. I didn't like this one. Uh -uh, not a lot. That was, this is number three. Hard Luck was number two, number one was a long haul. So number three. For number four comes Dog Days, which is apparently a lot of people's favorites. Nuh-uh. I don't like the idea of summer vacation in a journal form. I don't know why. I love the movie. I think this was one of the best movies, but it was not a good book. Well, it was it was a good book, but not my favorite, you know? I don't really like that kind of theme of books. Then we have The Third Wheel. This book was pretty, actually very forgettable, but it had a great idea about the Valentine's Dance, because then it put Greg Heffley and a really weird position. It, it just gave a good idea. Then we have The Meltdown, the newest book in the series. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, number seven best. Seven is about right in the middle, so it was not the best, yet not the worst. Um, you know, it is also the it is also the newest book in the series. It's just that it was a good book. I have to say it is a good book, but there's just some that really rank on top of it. I wouldn't say it's a bad book. It's not a bad book at all. It's just that there's ones that are better than it. Next up we have The Getaway, the second to last. This one was a good book. I love this book, but sadly there were more ahead of it. It was just that the different idea and general, it's just a general idea is that uh, that's what kind of deducted points from it. I don't really like the general idea, but I like what's in here. But I don't like how they string it together. So next up we have Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Ugly Truth coming in at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number eight, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Ugly Truth. That is actually pretty high. Uh, ugly Truth, I don't know how people feel about it. I mean, sure, it's there's some scenes that are forgettable, but that's because I didn't, I didn't really read it a long time because I'm reading them in order and I didn't read it until like 2017 or something because I didn't get into these books until like 2016 or something. But yeah, mm. good story. I remember some, but I don't remember everything. I think I would get it higher if I read it again. Next up is Diary of a Wimpy Kid, old school, coming at number nine. It's pretty good for this book. I mean, I love this book. Good plot, good stories, funny, but there's just stuff that's better. It's like the meltdown. It's not the best. But it's not the worst. It's definitely not the worst. 
Oh yeah, we all know what this is. Roderick Rules. I'm gonna try to speed it up because I don't want the video to be too long. At number nine comes, I think, comes Roderick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten comes Roderick Rules. Pretty high, Roderick Rules. I like this story. Then the last draw, all the time. One of the best. I don't know why I did it. The best. That sounds weird. That's cringy. But anyway, yeah, it's a pretty good book. It's one of my favorite good moments. Yeah, it doesn't really have a flaw other than Frank trying to get him to go to military school. And that's pretty much just like at the end. Mostly at the end. Well, we're almost done. At number 12 comes in Double Down. For some reason, people don't really like Double Down. But to me, it's one of the f my favorite books, if not fav not my favorite. One of my favorites. It's funny. It's good. It doesn't really have a plot. It's just a bunch of misadventures of Greg Heffley. But I like it. Number one. It's It would always be number one, of course. The first book. You don't even need an introduction. You all know what the first one is. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, get ready for Wrecking Ball. I mean, I feel like Jeff is running out of ideas, but yeah. Bye.